welcome one and all to the KOE Nation for a very premium spirits review of Weller's Special Reserve. I am your King of Extreme, Lord Phil, King of Extreme, Lord of the Scottish Highlands, the Conqueror of the Ethereal, Phil KOE, joined by my in Dominable broadcast partner in inebriation, the one, the only, the Bloodmaster, Tony G. Like, share, subscribe. Whoo! Here we go. Oh yes, this is something I've been looking forward to. Somehow, Indeed. this lucky little scamp here was able to get his hands on a bottle of Weller's Special Reserve, and it's not nearly as impressive as the 107, but just as rare at the moment see. in our territory. Yeah, we shall see. I will allow you to. Thank you. Open the bottle. This sir. is not a corked bottle, but it is a twist off, which doesn't bother me in the slightest. If you would. Mm, marvelous. Oh. Hooray. Finally, this is, uh, this is, yes, it's been staring at me for a couple of weeks now. I've been, uh, I'll be honest, a little curious, a little curious about this, so yeah. I, I Let's do- Let's go with curious. I do appreciate you, uh, sharing this with, uh, the newly christened and titled Lord, <laughs> thanks to this guy and chicken. Hey there, man. Uh. <laughs> like, share, subscribe, dog I, and chicken show. I kid you not. I am now an officially titled Lord, so I am now uh, definitely not going to overuse that, especially when I'm on the farm with my brothers. Not at all. <laughs> so, right. back to Wellers. So, let's nose this. I hmm. really like it. Muted? It's, it's, but it's subtle, but you know you're smelling bourbon. There's a sweetness there that's not like a sugary sweet. I was about to say, like, I want to say an orchard fruit, yeah. like an apple or a pear. Yep. But. It's like I'm somebody's not, taking a bite I'm of I'm not a, getting a lot of caramel. I'm no. not getting a lot of vanilla. But I'm just getting that sweetness that you yeah. do associate with weeders. Yep. I, no, I agree. Yeah, it's a very light nose, which is not shocking. This is only 45% 90 proof. Hmm. Yeah, it definitely doesn't burn the nose. It's it's right. actually pretty inviting. So here we go. Hmm. 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 Oh wow. That oh was, yeah, that finish is nice. That's all heat. Yeah. I'm not getting a lot of sweet. No. I'm getting wood and heat. That's. Mm. A hint of vanilla, but only just. Yeah, just enough. But that's all wooden heat mm. there, folks. So I'm a fan. Uh, I, I really like the way that finishes. Yes, yes, it's an it's an excellent mm. excellent bourbon. But mm. there was a friend who offered me a bottle of this for a hundred and seventy three dollars. I am kind of glad I didn't pay that. I say it's not worth that much. Uh, what did you pay for this bottle? Retail's only supposed to be about 25, 26 bucks, but you see this on the secondary market for upwards of a hundred, just depending on how hard it is to come by. I got it for 50 because I'm like, eh. Hold on, sir. Why not? You know, we, we've been looking for this for a while and this is probably going to be my only chance at it. And I... Not disappointed at all in the fifty dollar price. Right? I was about to say at twenty five to twenty nine dollars, one of the best deals in whiskey. If oh you yeah, get your hands on it. Mm. At fifty bucks, I'd still pick up a bottle. A hundred dollars, I definitely wouldn't. Uh, at but again, folks, mm. your mileage may vary depending on your state. But no, now, I, I'm really enjoying the grain front on this and the and the spicy finish. I'm getting a lot of wood. And that's I, really about it. Like, and I, 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 I usually do. If if there's a heavy wood flavor, I'm usually picking that apart. But on this one, I think it's subtle enough that it's not overbearing. I kind of like this a lot. I'm I'm a little surprised. Mm. Hmm. I think it helps. Uh, the flavor profile of this, I think, helps to be 
a little cooler. I have this in my yeah. basement, and my basement tends to run a little bit colder, and the bottles down there stay a little bit more chill than yours do on the main floor of your house. So yeah. there's a there's a disparity between the t the temperature of the bottles that we both have on our collections. Yes, I, I, I keep mine close at hand up here, top floor. I keep the cupboards closed most of the day just so it stays as is. But I, I do understand what you're saying there. We have had Antique 107. Check the review. It's up now, folks. I would say Antique's a lot more spicy. Yes. But there's also a lot more sweet there. Yeah. That if you were to water it down a little bit, mm -hmm. or put it on the rocks, which we tried, and, oh, it's bad. this, if you could get it at these prices here, uh, it's a good mixer, it's just a good, wix good this, whiskey. Yeah, this is a solid whiskey through and through, so let's, so, let's rate this bad boy. Alright, as a bourbon, as a whiskey, as a cask aged spirit and then shelving and then for folks new to this channel the secret fifth question so tony as a bourbon on a five star scale what would you give this i'm gonna give this a 3.25 uh, i think it hits in the right spots for a bourbon but uh, like you're picking up on the wood i'm picking up more on the the spice and the uh that initial flavor in the finish, I, I really like that. The middles, I, I get it, a little wooded and a little not nearly as complex as you want it to be. So I can understand that. But I, I think 3.25 is fair. You know, I'm going to be a little less generous with, than you. And I'm going to give this three stars as a oh. bourbon. I like it, but, you know, honestly, if this is a unicorn bottle for you... Don't pay the massive, insane no, prices. No, definitely not. The price Tony paid, that's more than reasonable. So I'm going to stick with three as a bourbon. Okay. Now, as a whiskey. As a whiskey? Mm, uh, I'm going to say easily three and a half. Three and a half as a whiskey? Yeah. Hmm. All right. And why do you say that, sir? Because I think you were right. This would be a really nice uh, blender for a weeded bourbon. I, I think oh, yeah. you could do some really nice cocktails with this. It's not going to be as high in proof as some of the other competitors that you could be mixing with that you wouldn't want to. But you wouldn't feel bad about using this as a mixer. And it would work so well as it. So I, I think that three and a half is a is about right. Now it's set in the glass. I'm getting a little more vanilla. Yep. But again, that sweet that's in the nose is not showing up in the palate. Maybe it's just me. But you know me, Tony. When it comes to whiskeys, I have kind of a sweet tooth. That's uh, fair. <laughs> so you, on the other hand, you kind of enjoy all the flavors that I don't necessarily enjoy. So between the two of us, you do get kind of a tour of the whiskey colonies, if you will. So as a... Whiskey, I am going to be a little less generous, and I'm going to give this three stars. Okay. All right. Okay. It's three stars as a whiskey. I could cocktail this. I could do a lot with it. Okay. I would usually enjoy it neat or on the rocks, just because of what it is. Yeah. It's, no, I, I would do It's that. rarity. I won't uh, be doing any mixing with this. I'll be drinking it like this. Now, this is a great line. I'm straight up stealing this from Whiskey Tribe, so check them out if you ever get a chance. They said that in whiskey, price is more of a reflection of rarity than necessarily quality. That's fair. So, it, now in scotch, that's that applies a little bit more. The more you pay, generally it gets better. But even there's a point of diminishing returns. Oh, yeah. But uh, So keep that in mind, folks, if you're jumping on the secondaries. Um, as a cask-aged spirit... This is their entry level, and I, I'm really kind of curious. We've had the 107 now, and there's the 12. There's the full proof. Yes. I, <sighs> I also want to get the Gosh. CYPB. Oh, yeah, of course. That one, I have a funny feeling, might be one of the better ones. Of the I, I think you're probably right. So I, I think on cast gauge, I'm going to be less generous. I'm only going to go three on that. Get out of my head. 
I was going three because here's the thing. The nose is amazing. Mm. It's just mm, so rich. I just wish one tiny mm. little piece of that sweet came through on the palate, and I bet you it probably does in the 12 year or the CYPD. That's what I was thinking, yeah. And it does in its own way, in its own spicy way, in the Antique 107. So If you really grind this on your palate, you really get the wheat. I mean, it, it really pulls through. So, Not for me, it's a three-star whiskey the whole way across through. Across the board, okay. And it's just a, across the board, three-star. Not bad. So, shelving. This would be a middle shelf whiskey, but I'm probably going to keep it in company of the other hard to come across bourbons right now. And until I have another bottle of Wellers that would beat this one out, I'll put it back on the top, but it is a middle shelf. Now this, keep in mind, this is coming from a man who has a bottle of Wellers on his top shelf right now. This would be a definitive middle to bottom shelf for me like there it would probably sit on the bottom shelf next to my bullet bourbon my maker's mark jack daniels and standard buffalo trace because that's what it's intended to be yeah but it's rarity because when everybody figured out this is the same juice they make pappy out of when they figured out that that this is the same barrels that they make pappies they just have the the Van Winkle family come in and they select the best barrels. That's when Wellers really took off and it became yep. really hard. And, and then the other thing that really made it take off was the uh, internet legend of poor man's pappy. <laughs> a mix of Antique 107 and Wellers 12 year and it's almost like pappy. And I know that enthralls this guy over here. So... <sighs> Now we move on to the secret question, Tony. When this bottle is empty, if you could acquire another one for $50, will you? For 50 I would definitely consider it. I, I really like it. I think it's a very suitable drinker. It's, it's one that the brand is at least impressive, and it doesn't matter that this is their entry level at all, because if you're introducing somebody to a weeded bourbon... This, this, good this is a really great introduction. I'm not going to go out of my way to pay an outrageous price for this. I'm more than likely going to look in the stores. And if I see it at the retail price, I'm going to grab a bottle of it. Because A, I like it. And B, somebody else out there has probably never tried it. And would pay the $50 that I did to acquire it and try it as well. Exactly. So this one is definitely on the try list, folks. Yeah. But... Again, we're here to give you the real perspective, and I don't think this is a wildly controversial statement to try to pay the manufacturer's suggested retail price on a product rather than some ridiculous secondary. Yeah. But it, this is the world we live in right yeah. now. So if you want to get some of these bottles, you got to talk to the secondary folks. So... You know, at one hand, folks curse you, but at the same time, God bless you. I don't know what to say. So it, it's an unfortunate reality that we live in. So uh, I will definitely look for a bottle of this. At $50, I would definitely, See. just for collection flex. That's fair. Like It's a brand that you'd like to show off. Yes, the, and especially this bottle. Yeah. I would pour drams of this for people that came over before sure. I'd necessarily pour a bunch of brand, drams of my one, 107, if you get what I'm saying. So, oh no. Is it, is it over here? What What are you looking for? The 107? No, it's up there. It's on the wall. Okay. We'll get there. We'll right. get there. So, folks, <laughs> as I am known to say around here, T, all that being said, this has been our review of Weller's Special Reserve, the original weeded bourbon. I am Lord Phil, your King of Extreme, signing off and handing it off to my indomitable broadcast partner, the one, the only, the Blendmaster, Tony G. Like, share, subscribe. Thanks for joining.